Is it possible for Lake Mead to go completely dry? No, not really. Come on, I'll show you. Before Lake Mead looked like this, the Colorado River looked like this. It's easy to forget that underneath that lake, there is a riverbed. A riverbed that's currently being fed by the Colorado River coming out of the Grand Canyon. Now, being in a drought means that there's less water coming into the lake than there used to be. But there's still new water coming in, just not as much as being let out. And more water being let out than is coming in is why the lake levels are dropping. There are three ways to get water from the upstream side of Hoover Dam to the downstream side. The first is through the emergency spillways located here and here. If the lake were at its maximum, the water would spill over these gates and down into these tunnels. From here, the water goes down a 45 degree angle before joining the diversion tunnel and exiting to the river. Now these spillways have only ever passed water two times in the entire history of the dam, so it's not really an option today. The second method is something called the outlet works. That's these valves right here. This method doesn't get used very often. It just lets water straight through without generating any power. The third way to let water through Hoover Dam is through the turbines. Two power plants, one on each side of the river, with a total of 13 generators. Now the thing is, both of these last two ways of passing water are fed through the same pipes. These four towers are the main intakes for the dam. They're hundreds of feet tall and sit on bedrock on either side of the canyon. Here they are before the lake was filled. At the bottom, they're connected to tunnels that go around the dam itself. By the way, today the water levels are about up to here. These intake towers are the source for both the outlet works and the power plant. The water enters the tunnel and goes downstream and can be let out either through the power station or the outlet works. There's also a drain that goes out to this tunnel outlet, but it doesn't get used very often. Same thing on the Nevada side. And that's it. These three methods are the only way to get water around Hoover Dam. These intake towers are not sitting on the bottom of Lake Mead, which means that if you drop the lake down to about here, you're no longer able to let more out. This is what we mean when we say Deadpool. The lake is still there, but unusable. If Deadpool were to happen, it would be very bad for everybody downstream. While there would still be water up here in Lake Mead, everything here would dry up, with enormous consequences for the state of Arizona and Southern California. So what does this have to do with Las Vegas? If Deadpool is here, Las Vegas's water intake is right about there. Meaning they can still move water, even if Hoover Dam can't. Now the drought may be bad, but we're not at risk of the Colorado River going naturally completely dry. There's still plenty of water coming in upstream. And with no water going out downstream, Las Vegas becomes the only major user on the lower basin. And believe me, the amount of water they're taking for drinking is nothing compared to what's being taken out downstream for irrigation. The bottom line is that there's an almost zero chance of Lake Mead dropping below the Deadpool elevation. And even in the worst conditions, we're not going to see Lake Mead dry out completely anytime soon.